On tonight's Oregon People segment, a trip to the coast. Many of us are fascinated by lighthouses. Have you ever driven by that lighthouse near Yahat? It looks like it's part of a man's home. Well, it is. But it's also a working registered lighthouse. Watch. <laughs> This was my dream from the time I was a, a young man, from the time we first came down to the coast in the 1920s, that someday I would have my little so-called castle on the edge of the Oregon shores. Here on the cleft of the rock, nestled in the shadow of Cape Perpetua, 71-year-old Jim Gibbs found a dark spot to build what has become a light for many. He noticed on some old maps that Cape Perpetua was earmarked for a lighthouse. The government never built it, so Gibbs did it himself. It's kind of a symbol in a way because lighthouses are in the twilight of age to navigation, so to speak, in this high-tech electronic age in which we live. But they still have a warmth and they still are very much admired by the general public. And I think there will always be lighthouses, even though their importance has been reduced. Gibbs knows how important lighthouses were to seafarers of the past. In 1945 and 46, he was a lighthouse keeper on one of the most lonely, isolated lighthouses in the country, Tillamook Rock near Seaside. Gibbs spent his whole life writing about the sea. Not a bad job writing about something you love so much, especially when it's as powerful as the ocean. The sea is filled with mystery and intrigue for this man. The lighthouse and the rock it's built on don't stop the storms from beating the coastline, but they do provide protection, security, and a solid foundation for many, including Jim Gibbs. Maybe that's why he calls this place his Cleft of the Rock. Cleft of the Rock uh, comes from a passage in the Bible in Exodus which tells about Moses being hid in the cleft of the rock when, the, when God passed by. It's also from the hymn which says, He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock. I just give all the credit to the good Lord because I've had a blessed life, so to speak, and it's kind of terminated in exactly what I had planned from the beginning, <laughs> and he allowed it to be. So the next time you drive along Highway 101 south of Yahats and you are admiring that light and being warmed by the romance lighthouses stir in all of us, you might remember Jim Gibbs for this very special gift he's given all of us.